Custom display modes in Rhino 7, why would you consider creating your own and how are they helpful? Particularly, I find custom display modes useful when using sub Ds. So I've made a few here. This is a blue based color one. I also have a red one. Um, and they basically allow me to have a custom environment lighting my scene. So I get the ability to sort of fine tune my reflections that I'm seeing in my sub D as I'm modeling. And that means that as I'm sort of making changes in shape and form, um, I'm getting a really nice quality preview of the lighting and the curvature. And it just allows me to engage with the modeling process a little bit more personally, I find, um, and helpfully. You can also change things such as crease colors, edge colors. You could have custom colors for meshes, custom colors for curves, for surfaces, poly surfaces. Um, so you really can um, play around with settings where you, you, know, you almost specify what you want objects to look like depending on the type of object they are in Rhino. Now the defaults are really good. So we've got wireframe, shaded, rendered, ghosted, x-ray, technical, so on and so forth. Everyone's favorite, Arctic. And um, it really is just cha changing a few settings on a base one, but you do have the ability to make your own from scratch as well. So jumping on options in the top toolbar, if we scroll down to view, we have our display mode settings. And you'll see we have our list of the default display modes from ray trace up. And the ones below are ones that I've added and played around with um, over some time. Now, I would recommend picking one that you like the look of already and then adjusting it. So if I click on Arctic and I click on Copy, we can actually duplicate it. I'm going to rename that Custom Sub, and we're going to play around some settings. Everything's laid out fairly straightforward, but there are a lot of settings here. Try not to get too confused by them. Um, they are labeled and sort of categorized so I can collapse the viewport settings and the visibility settings and the shaded are what we want to play around with. So the object shading, how are we shading objects? At the moment, everything's just gray um, in the shaded view or in Arctic, it's all just white. So if we go to customize, we can create a custom material that is applied to every object we have. So if I change the display color here um, to a different one, let's go for like a green, Click OK. I leave the gloss color white. I can make the gloss. I can change the gloss finish so I can make it more glossy or less. Um, I might tweak that a little bit. Like that there. I can adjust the transparency. I just need to turn off this box here. Retain object transparency. I can make it a little bit opaque um, or translucent rather. Knock that back. But the main setting here, what we really want to play around with, is adding a map into our environment setting. So you will need a HDRI image to do this. I've added a whole bunch. These are just the supported file types that Rhino takes in. Um, you can find these online, you can buy them, you can download them for free. Um, they're fairly easy to get hold of. Um, I've got a whole bunch of a collection here. And I'm just going to add a black and white one for now. See how that looks. Click OK. And depending on what object you use here in your environment, you'll have a, that, that kind of has most of the control over your, what you'll see in the viewport. It is important to knock this back down from 100. At the moment, we get our preview. See, it's completely taken all the color away. So I'm going to drag and drop that down. Um, so I'm still sort of wanting to see the reflection. Click OK. Let's see what this is looking like. Let's click OK. And now if we go to our viewport, we should be able to find custom sub, select it, and we have a preview. So we kind of have a real-time preview of what we've just changed and made. That's looking good. But for my sub D object, it's not actually showing the lines. So if I go to options panel again, I can actually have that open. And what we want to do is in visibility, we want to go to show sub D wires and show creases. And now we can see those being updated and added in our viewport. If you don't like the color, you want to make changes, we can just jump straight back in. We could change that to something else completely. Click OK again, and that will update for us. Um, and just to sort of show you what the main difference would that the HDRI makes. Let's just change it to something with a bit more color. Um, so let's go for something that has got lots and lots of lights in it, lots and lots of lines. Click open, apply. You can see that we've, you know, we have that mapped over our object. Um, and this can be really helpful. It's almost like having your own custom sort of zebra surface analysis tool uh, working all the time. So that's kind of why I would say this might be a useful tool to, to use. Um, also, it's just visually engaging. It's, you know, makes it look a little bit more snazzy. And the last thing I want to show you here is if we go to our objects panel, 
we can expand and select different different specifics for each different type of object you have in Rhino. So we're just sticking with sub D for now, and we're going to go to the crease color and say we want a custom color for all our creases, and we want that to be red. Let's click OK, and we see that now highlights in red for us, which is really nice. If I click OK, and that's updated. And I can jump as normal between shaded, between ghosted, between my new custom sub display mode, and I have that in Rhino um, for any file that I want to use it with. If you want to share this with someone else, you can also export it. So in the display modes, you can click on the file and you can export that um, as an INN file, INI file, sorry. And anyone else can then import that back in. So you can share that with someone else, which is a really nice way to um, play around with these files again as well. Hope that's been useful. Hope that's been fun. Um, keep up the modeling and um, yeah, drop hit me up with any comments or questions.